Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. Recently, I was doing some research into ancient roads and ancient pathways and ancient railways. And that led me to the Middleton Railway. It's the world's oldest continuously working railway created in 1758. And this railway is in the neighborhood of Hunslet in Leeds, England. What's interesting about this is that it is situated on Moor Road. The Moors already having a very interesting past as we look at architecture. But furthermore, if you look into the actual neighborhood of Hunslet, you'll find that the name itself means the Creek of the Hun or the Bog of the Hun. We already know who the Huns are and we know what sort of representation they had throughout history and who they really could have been. Now, this Hunslet town is first mentioned in the Doomsday Book in 1086. And it could have been also referred to as Hun's Fleet. And basically, this is an area that has been in continuous use uh, ever since the beginning of the Middle Ages. And from the name, you can only imagine that it was at one point conquered by the Huns. And every single building in this area appears to be built in the same exact fashion using one of our favorite tools from the past, which is the red brick now every photograph in this video will be from the same neighborhood of hunslet in leeds yorkshire england these are not all around the country this is not a vast area this is one neighborhood and i'm just gonna leave these photographs with you let me know what you think many of them uh appear in the moorish architecture style yet the history of hunslet is very convoluted at best so i'll dive into that a little bit later but first let's just look at a few of these photographs that show just how many buildings really sit in this neighborhood that appear to be built all in the exact same fashion yet labeled as entirely different time periods etc etc let me know your thoughts below and we'll get more into it a little bit
as you can see in many of these photographs, uh, the neighborhood of Hunslet appears to be unfinished and or entirely dilapidated by the early 1900s. You have these buildings which are all in the same red brick and they're in really, I'd say, um, good condition for the rest of the city. If you look around, everything appears to be uh, in disarray. You see rocky roads, unfinished roads. Um, a lot of the streets appear to have been unearthed, whereas these buildings could have been standing for who knows how long. We don't really have a history given for them. Um, we also have a, every single one of these buildings sporting some sort of tech on top. And when I say every single building, I mean every single one of these buildings. Now, none of them have any of the wiring attached to them at this point, uh, any of the modern uh, technology for that time. But all of these buildings do have uh, these sort of small pillars, some of them in groups of three, some of them only one. Some of them, like this building, have about 10 in a row. But the purpose of these, I couldn't really figure out. As you can see, um, the furnaces on these buildings and other things of that nature, these are not those furnaces. Uh, you can see the chimneys and et cetera, et cetera. But what are those on top of the building? I really don't know uh, if it's just an ornament of sort to make the building look better. But this is on every building, all these buildings built, they say at different times, yet all in literally the exact same fashion. So either the same architect built this entire city throughout his lifetime, or we're being lied to about exactly where the neighborhood of Hunslet, Leeds really uh, came from. And you'll see these chimneys, uh, or these tech options on these homes and they're all basically attached to these quote-unquote fireplaces but they're ornamental fireplaces they're fireplaces that have no outlet they're fireplaces that can't expel smoke they're fireplaces that you cannot actually light a fire in so are they really fireplaces or is this a more interesting unexplainable technology of the past i mean we always dabble in it we could say it's free energy but we truly don't know all we do know is that we have an entire neighborhood one of the oldest in leeds england built in the entirely same fashion titled after the huns called hunslet or huns bog the main road that runs through this town is called moore road it contains the first and oldest running train station in the entire world and it's been here ever since the middle ages so take with that what you will but i do think the history of hunslet is much more important than a lot of people give it credit for and if you look at these buildings in modern times many of them have not been restored or given any importance at all a lot of them are either demolished or in disrepair or basically on their last legs and i think that was done on purpose i think these neighborhoods that have strong historic value and basically lend themselves to a different narrative i think these buildings in these neighborhoods and cities are purposefully left go um now what we're told is tetley's brewery was the most important business that was in the neighborhood of Hunslet and we're told that the owner of Tetley's um, inherited all of these homes. So basically one man by the name of Tetley inherited this entire neighborhood of Hunslet. And as the history goes, he housed all of the workers of the brewery, which also stood here for who knows how long. It says 1822, but the brickwork might say otherwise. 
and after he inherited this town it eventually went into disrepair and it's now seeing a revitalization today